two different holds. We want to talk about properly supporting your breast and getting a good angle so that when baby drops their little mouth open, that way you can hold their head in your hand and have full control of their little head between your thumb and your forefingers. And you can place them on your breast the same way you did when you were doing cradle hold. You can support your breast with your other hand, just like you did with cradle hold. See? But your arm is not an awkward chicken wing. It's a lot more comfortable. And it's something way. to practice. Do you want to practice? No, you can use so this, babe. Look, holds, here. All right. Now that we've talked about the two different holds, we want to talk about <coughs> properly supporting your breast and getting a good angle so that when baby drops their little mouth open wide enough and you're ready to latch them on, you've got your breast supported well enough so that they can latch on properly. I see a lot of mommies doing this on their breast, or a lot of mommies doing all this have to be holding... <laughs> These breastfeeding videos have just ruined <laughs> boobs for me forever. <laughs> it's over. It's over. That's my fucking problem Yeah, I like to fuck I got a fucking problem I love bad bitches That's my fucking problem Yeah, I like to fuck I got a fucking problem Nearly 1,600 women a year pay for the Portland experience. It's one of the top private maternity hospitals in Europe. We was a high society it girl in China before she moved to London five years ago. She's a regular on the London fashion scene and has just started her own clothing label. She's married to a business tycoon who runs his shipping empire out of Hong Kong. With her husband working abroad, Hui's taken up residence in West London. She's been left to decide where to have their first baby. So tell me, why did you want to have a baby at the Portland? Well, I was kind of like a Google, you know, which hospital is the best one. And then Paula Hospital is the top one, the pop out. Do you know of anyone else that's had babies there? Yes, Victoria Bickham. <sighs> She's my icon. So um, this is delivery room one. Stay calm and have a water birth. Water birthing tub. What's the technical name for this? Birthing pool. Birthing pool. <laughs> and so and if you're not here, you're basically screaming over here. <laughs> no! Not necessarily <laughs> Not screaming, breathing. Yes. Breathing. And how many people are normally in this room when a woman so is having birth? Usually it's 
mother and partner. Yeah. Um, sometimes, if you want your mum, then or another family member, then you can have so you can have two people with you, two birthing partners. Um, you'll have the midwife. So when you arrive, you'll be allocated to the care of the midwife. Um, that midwife will just be looking up to you, no, no one else. Mm -hmm. um, and then um, your consultant as well. So I'd say maximum four other people whilst you're whilst you're here. So yeah, usual is about three, three cool. people. And you've got a lovely view of uh, Regent's Park, which would be nicer <laughs> if it wasn't raining. <laughs> which I'm sure you'll get out of bed and you'll be like, oh, look at this lovely view of Regent's Park. Um, this is baby's cot, so baby will be put in here. And this is where, do you know if it's a girl or a boy? Girl. 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 This is where she will be sleeping, um, so she'll be in here the entire time. Um, we, As I said, we really encourage rooming in. So when you're down in your bedroom downstairs, then... Um, the baby will be with you most of the time, but we do have a nursery as well, which I'll show you. So this is our premier suite. This is what, um, this is the room that's popular with all of our VIPs and our high profile patients. I can get the lights up, can we look? Um, so you've got this, your bedroom, which is actually quite a large bedroom compared to the standard rooms, mm -hmm. and an ensuite bathroom with a bar. Mm -hmm. And then here, if you look at this door, you've got the sitting room for family, and another bathroom for, for visitors, or if you prefer to have a walk-in shower, then um, have this room, this, this bathroom. So um, for women who tend who have cesarean sections, we try to allocate the rooms with the walk-in showers, so you don't have to get. Get in and out of the bath. We'll kind of, you know, do that movement. It's just a pull-out single bed mm. set up. Probably alongside the bed there. Cool. Okay, mm. Are you, you happy bread? with that? <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to say yes. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it looks cool. Yeah, not all of the fathers stay. Um, some of them kind of go home. Just, <laughs> stay. I'll just tell you I'll stay. <laughs> You'll be so tired. <laughs> yeah, you won't even know. I just hurt my asshole so bad. The baby's right there. Next door to where the kid's coming out. Get it up there. Get up to <laughs> it is a lovely view though. <laughs> That's funny. He's right here. Come here. Keep your me. Nice and soft legs. She's here. She's here. She's here. Please. Help me. You're Push. Well. Push. Please help me. She's dead. Come on down. Come on. Just squeeze him up. Push. He's right there. Oh my gosh. There's his head. Oh, almost there. Right there. Yeah. 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 I got it. I got it. I got it. Look, 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 look in the mirror. Look in the mirror. Look in the mirror. Push his ears out. Push his ears out. Push his ears out. Push his ears out. Oh, come on. Come out, please. Come on. I have to wait for this. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, baby, come on. 